morning. It is Saturday morning, a day before the hurricane. Right now, me and my mom are starting to put in our patio furniture inside because we don't know what the wind speed is gonna be like. They say it's gonna be like a hundred mile gusts of wind. Right now, she's blowing off the patio deck or I don't know what she's doing. I don't know why she's got the blower out. I think she's blowing away dirt that's just gonna come right back. Let's go see. Yep, blowing away dirt that's gonna come right back. So we have to bring in all of this, flipped over our picnic table, and then we're gonna bring in these two chairs. Brady, are you scared of the hurricane? You've never been through a hurricane before, have you? Actually, I don't know. Mm, we're gonna be all safe, okay? I'll hold you through the night. By the way, I'm sorry I look so crazy. I feel like I'm always apologizing for the way I look, but I just can't help it. So these are some preparations we've got for the hurricane. We've got these jugs to fill up with water. We've got some water bottles. We got lots of snacks. My mom had to hide them in our, in this chest thingy. So we all wouldn't eat it. But look, we got some Tito's. No, I'm just kidding. No, but we got lots of like dry snacks. You know, just in case. I don't know why she gets this. Like, Swiss rolls, are you trying to fatten me up? So the one thing that like freaks me out about hurricanes is when you have the sustained wind speeds, it means trees could fall. We have this huge oak tree. That could potentially fall on our house and I'm petrified of that. I don't want a tree to fall on my house, but I don't know. We got it. We got it trimmed. So I guess they say if you get it trimmed, at least the wind gusts that go through it won't knock it down. It'll kind of just like flow through the tree. I don't really know, but let's hope it worked. My hair is so greasy. I know this kind of sounds gross, but I'm waiting like last minute to wash my hair, just in case if the power goes out, I. We'll have nice clean hair, all my laundry's done, so I have clean clothes. Mother Nature is on her period or something because we got fires in the west. We got an earthquake, a huge earthquake that just happened in Mexico. We got hurricanes coming left and right. What's next? Is the world falling apart? <laughs> I don't know. I think Mother Nature is trying to tell us something. So one thing I'm gonna really miss about living at home is having my breakfast made for me. Thanks, Mother. And yes, I eat my bacon with syrup. I can't eat bacon any other way. I have certainly cleaned myself up. So I think I said I wasn't gonna go shower until tomorrow, which is Sunday, but me and Mitchell decided to do happy hour tonight and it was actually really hard to find a place that is open because of the hurricane. But some places are closing early. We just decided to go to happy hour because we're, we don't know how long we're gonna be trapped in the house and it's just nice to get out real quick before this thing comes and does God knows what. But I just wanna show you guys my outfit because I really like it. So this is my top. It's really cute. It's got like little frillies right here. These in the back. I got it from Zara. My pants kind of match my top. They got little frillies on the bottom too. Oh, hi Brady. You make an appearance in my outfit. These are my shoes. They're yellow. A little bit of color. So I'm not so boring. These jeans are from Forever 21 and my shoes are from Forever 21. I get a lot of questions of what color lips I sometimes wear. I am obsessed with NYX matte lip wear. It is the best and it's cheap. This one I'm wearing is called Zur Zurich. I love like the natural pink ones. 
And they have really fun, bright ones. And if it's not, I'll let you know. So Mitchell finally picked me up. I've been waiting forever. I'm actually early today. I'm just kidding. Actually, yeah, for once he's early. Mitchell's never early. He's either a minute late or late. Never on time. What'd you do to prep for the hurricane? Well, we boarded up half of our windows, which doesn't really make sense, but... Oh, because you have hurricane-proof windows, right? Yeah, they're just supposed to be able to sustain 120 miles an hour, but... You never know. We'll what if a tornado happens? I hope no trees fall on our house. That's what I'm, like, really scared of. We cut the two trees on the... I you saw. Know, oh, Courtney's pet put it on Facebook? Uh, oh, yeah, she went live, yeah. <laughs> they're, like, completely bare. Really? It looks so weird. They have their ladder against the branch that they're cutting down. And he's like, he's sitting here leaning against it and then he's trying to cut like right here and that shit falls right on the, on the ground. But I'm like, dude, this man's gonna die. <laughs> That's what they do for a living though. They're they fearless. <laughs> they have to be. Meanwhile, I'm scared to get on the damn roof. These guys are chopping down trees like a damn ninja. Yeah. I got to the gym at 3.33. I was like, you guys close at 7? She goes, no, we close at 4. I was like, oh, dope. Really? Yeah, so, so you're like 30 minutes? A little speed work. That's all you need. So a couple of places around Orlando, like restaurant-wise, are closed or they're closing early. So we were going to go to a restaurant called Big Fin, but no one was answering the phone when I called. It's no stopping grounds. Yeah, which was Little League baseball field. Um... So now we decided to go to Roy's for happy hour. Oh, but it, it's nice and thoughtful that these restaurants and stores and whatnot are thinking of their employees in preparation for the hurricane. Walking through clothes, I went at like three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's nice, but it's also nice that they're still open so we can get out of the house one last time. <laughs> Seriously. Because I don't know how long we're going to be stuck in a house for. All I know is I better have cable tomorrow so I can watch football. That's all I care about. I don't know how many of you guys are like into football, but we do fantasy football. And if you don't know what that is, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it. You pick offensive players, right? Offensive players from all football teams and you kind of create your own football team and you get points by whatever players you pick and blah, 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 blah. And there's usually a group of like 12, the most. You can do 14, but we do 12. Okay, we're in a group of 12, so. Each person plays another person each week. So this is my third year doing it. And this is my first year actually picking my own team and kind of learning about each player. She Mitchell did Mitchell didn't help me at all. I was very proud of myself. Yeah. She did good. I gave her C, C plus on her draft. C plus? That's all I get? <laughs> you said, you know what's so funny is now he's admitting to you my team because before he said I did such a great job. You did do a job. good job, but it's a C plus. Why a C plus? That's your grade. Then you're not a very good teacher. Oh. <laughs> no, you just don't pay attention. Yes, I do. No. We're about to pull up to Roy, so see you after or during. So we're back. We ate at Roy's. Happy hour was delicious. I got a mango, what did I get? Mango mojito. It was pretty good. <coughs> Mitchell got a spicy margarita. It has jalapenos in it. And now we're gonna go pick up some. A million dollars. Freaking wish. No, we're gonna continue drinking and pick up wine. <laughs> Can't watch Florida State tonight because their game got canceled. Who's a Florida State fan? I saw in the comments from last Sunday that there was a lot of Michigan fans and I was so happy. I also saw some Ohio State fans, which is okay. That's your team. You root for your team. I didn't see any FSU fans. That's bullshit. Um, comment, okay, comment down below if you're an FSU fan. I did see Roll Tide. I saw a bunch of Roll Tide. I'm not very happy about that. So. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to discuss that with a few of you. <laughs> Mitchell's upset with you guys. And the oh. Patriots lost. 
and the Patriots. Okay, I don't know if they know, but we're a very big Patriots fan. I'm a Patriots, well, he's like a really big Patriots fan and he's kind of made me more of a Patriots fan, but I like really do like the Patriots because Tom Brady came from Michigan and so that's why I like Patriots, but. And they got steamrolled Thursday night. So. They did, it's sad. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, right? And if you guys didn't know, Brady was kind of named after Tom Brady, but we kind of changed it to a girl's name and added an I at the end. All right, get out. What am I getting? She got two bottles of wine. Our trip to St. Thomas got Wait, canceled. Wait, uh, stop. <laughs> So I don't know if most of you caught on to when me and Mitchell were saying we have a trip to go on and we're getting vacation ready and beach bod ready and whatnot. But because of Mother Nature and Hurricane Irma, we were supposed to go to St. Thomas this past Thursday. Clearly it didn't work out. St. Thomas got destroyed. The Virgin, British Virgin Islands got destroyed. And I feel so bad because it sucks, like they don't have anything anymore and now it's gonna cost millions of dollars to fix everything. But it also sucks because we were supposed to go on vacation and we had to cancel our trip. We were supposed to go with our two friends, Cassie and Josh. If you guys watched last week's vlog on Sunday, you know who they are. This is where I'm gonna end it for today. I know it's really sad. I feel like me and Mitchell just kind of talked a lot. We better make it good because this is the last one before the hurricane hits us. It is. This is the last vlog you will see. Ever. Don't say that. It's not, don't listen to him. Forever. I hope I don't lose power and I can post Forever. one on. Forever. <laughs> Anyways, I hope I don't lose power. And if you can name the movie. Can I'm you let me talk? <laughs> Wait, name the movie I'm quoting. I don't know. No, tell them to name the movie I'm quoting. Okay, if you can name the movie Mitchell and you is should quoting. Know this. Forever. I gotta watch where the road is so <laughs> can I. If you guys can name that quote, comment down below also about that. If not, it's okay. You don't have to. Don't listen. Anyways, what I was trying to say is, oh, what a, oh. Mitchell, I swear, <laughs> um, if I lose power tomorrow, I or what, <laughs> Mitchell, stop! <laughs> if I lose power on Monday, <laughs> don't even look. If I lose power on Monday, and for some reason I can't post on Wednesday, I like want to do my Wednesday post about the aftermath of Hurricane Irma. And I, I hope there's not a lot of damage, but if there is, I'm really gonna cry. I don't know. But I'm gonna vlog dur during Hurricane Irma. Dur -dur. <laughs> during. <gonna> vlog dur dur. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> See what one drink does to me? I'm just kidding. I'm gonna vlog during Hurricane Irma and the aftermath of it all when it leaves and yeah so if I don't see you Wednesday it's because I have no power and I will post it as soon as I can and have power and whatnot but let's hope that's not the case and please pray that nothing bad happened to Orlando and all the areas affected by Hurricane Irma Florida wise and wherever it goes next I will see you guys on Wednesday. Pray for us. Bye. I'm gonna drive like a freaking. <laughs> oh, I give up. I give up. How the hell does this thing work? How do you switch the camera? <sighs> Taylor's gonna kill me. She found out I did this. Most confusing camera I've ever seen in my life. Maybe this button?